this is Joan from uh, the uh, Cavern Club here in Jackson. Uh, wishing you a uh, good evening and hope you enjoy it. We will be showing some photos and critiquing them among the group. <laughs> yeah, it sure did come out funny. I took it with my cell phone because I didn't have time to take a picture. Okay. It's actually a brownie with crumbs. Okay. Yeah, but that's not the colors that came out of my monitors. <laughs> that's awful red for a brownie. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Yeah, that that looks monitors. like red frosting on a chocolate cake is what it yeah, looks what like. It, yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted it to look like oh, frosting. red velvet but... brownies. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Frosted brownie. Oh. Boom. I, I like that one. That one right there. <laughs> Pretty dramatic. Well, you took color. that one? That, that's, that's mine. That's, yeah. Beautiful. That's through the living room sliders. That's a cute idea. I like well, that. Well, it's food. It's, it's food, and I'll tell you, after all the rain we had, that grape jelly was more drink than it was <laughs> jelly. Like on the screen, yeah. you can you can see the jelly in its beak, but yeah, that's they a nice have picture. The dark jelly I like in the that. Head and then the orange and the top. That's a pretty bird. Yeah, it's Oreo. Yeah. Oh. Now that's a video on my Hermes. <laughs> Okay. I should have ate before I came. Yeah. <laughs> Nature! Any comments? I wanted that tree. If you look, it looks like he's got a little nose and an arm out back. I just, <laughs> that little stump of a tree. He's walking away. <laughs> yep. Nice, nice little assert. He's yes. walking away. So lonely. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Gee, we were talking about stuff like this. <laughs> Wait, whose picture is that? Is that so the beach? Where did you shoot that at? Where were you at? Um, that was Lake Superior. And over, um, I can never pronounce the name. Is it Antonica? Not Antonica. Antonica. Yeah. Near the Porcupine Mountains. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. And I tried, I tried desperately. There was this huge, beautiful, gorgeous piece of driftwood that I have a hundred other pictures of, and I tried to get them both in the same shot, and it it just didn't work, so I gave up. You need that wide angle. That's right. pretty wide. That's um, 16. I like the rush of the water part. drawing you out into the, mm -hmm. the aurora. That's a nice picture, one, because that really is. You could see, I mean, you know, you, you, that's not what you see with the naked eye. The camera sees, sees yeah. so much more, but you can see the pillars. You could see, in fact, I looked out of our hotel um, window. It was one of those nights where the apps were going off and yeah. I was trying to sleep and, you know, I, I was up all night long. And, um, but when, I, when it, the clouds finally cleared, because it was a cloudy night, and you, you could just look out the window and I said, oh my God, that's it, that's it. And, you know, I drove my husband crazy. He just said, yeah, fine, he goes back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, can oh. I ask Jamie a question? Because I feel like an idiot. Is that on the left? So you're facing north. Yep. And I always think of the Milky Way facing south, but is that the tail end of the Milky Way coming down the other way on the left? I've never seen it like that before. What time of year was this? September? No kidding. Wow. I mean, generally it doesn't look that wide. I'm, I'm really intrigued by your photo. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, I've, I've never fake. seen it's that segment of it before, so I don't know. Like, honestly, it looks like it looks like Scorpio, which is in the southern hemisphere. I'm like totally lost on this one. Yeah. I mean, it has to be part of the Milky Way, but generally it's like as dense as that, like on the southern end of it. So, yeah. do, you, do you know the time of night? Was this like super, super late, like three, four in the morning? This was probably 3 a.m. maybe, two to three to four to five. I've never tracked how the how the core moves through the sky okay, in, the, yeah. in the autumn. That could be the, the core tracking towards the end of the night, but no, I like and, so this is another dumb question. Is it even close to being in focus? I 
have to put my readers on. <laughs> I see it better on the laptop. I mean, I don't have tails. It's, it's it, it looks good on the Yeah, I mean, it looks good from on this screen. I mean, is this the full res version right here? Yeah, I have. There's just a little tiny bit of movement in the stars. The yeah. exposure was just a tiny, like right. probably a couple seconds longer and, than. And, and that's just right on the fringe here that, that yeah. shows up because yep. it doesn't show up. Yeah, right when you there. get into the center, that rota that rotation isn't even visible. Because I have the heck of a time manual focus keeping it. No, I think you did spot on with that. It okay. looks sharp. Yep. Boom. What gear are you using for that? Sorry. Stand on that one for a little bit. Oh, <laughs> well, we'll go back. Um, so it's a Canon um, Mark for 5D. Yep. And then you said 16 millimeter lens. Yeah, it's a 16 to 35, and I would have had it at 16. You did an amazing job. 2.8. On the post work on that. God, that's gorgeous. Thank you. I might have to hit you up for some tips on post-processing some of your <laughs> stuff. Seriously, that's killer. And last but not least, the nature category. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Where's that? Uh, that was my trip to Missouri. It's, uh, I was at Elephant Rock State Park. Okay. And last but not least. Long, but I don't have time to edit. Boom. So Choice. Yeah. Thank you. Little black and white photography. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so. it's, it tells a story. I think you, you miss it, Alice. On this, though, you can't really see. It's it. Uh, I like it better on the laptop because it's squished in more. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's the aspect ratio that the monitor does it. You know, we keep that in mind. Well, one of the questions I was going to ask the group about this. So I, there's two things I really like in this picture, but I'm not sure if I like them both in the same picture. So I like the silhouette, this kind of silhouette on the right, mm -hmm. but then on the left, and you can't, you can't, or at least I can't see it from here. There's a guy with his little kids in the stroller, mm -hmm. and the look on this, on the one little kid's face is adorable. Oh. This is precious. But you can't really see it. No. Yeah. I kind of like how they complete the thought of like coming and going. Like, okay. Yeah. I also there's a lot of depth because you know that, that that shadow figure is over right. that thing with you and the other ones. Either or by itself would take, would be a story, but I like the story together. You know, the someone in the dark is going into the light and. The light is up. focusing on the kids, so it's. You know, and, and it was a real good exactly. job using this mm -hmm. frame it all in yes i like that left foot up of hers so she can tell it's a moving person mm -hmm. and black and white it's really mm -hmm. good to bring out that impact too this color might be nice but i think it would spoil i've had people yeah. ask I, I, I won't ask but now now that i look at it i know exactly <laughs> what it what it is but it's i don't know which airplane it's, it's on it's at al kalamazoo Okay. We took the grandkids there. Is that the Enterprise? <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of people are saying. It's the Enterprise. I've been like, nope. <laughs> no, what is it's it? a tire. <laughs> it's landing gear, retractable yeah, landing gear. Yeah. It's what? <laughs> it's the landing gear, retractable. Well, tucked up in. Oh. Yeah, and it comes up and tucks into the thing. And that's what that is. It's a really cool picture. Yeah. 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 It's kind of fun. You guys see, um, there's this YouTuber, Peter Forsgaard. And he has, um, he set up a whole year, like every week, on like, like a theme for that week. And then on his YouTube, oh, app, wow. he's a YouTuber, and then he has uh, Facebook. And then people put, um, like, something for that theme. You know, like 52, we 52 weeks, he's already, he's, he's, he, he's, 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 he's published it. Like, you know, some of them are just like green or blue or cold okay. or sad or, just, you know, and then people, but it's really interesting to see the, the submissions that people post on this Facebook thing. I'm like, you know, what their interpretation of sad or green or fast. It gives you something to do. It's kind of like homework, you know, and it's every week. It's like, and then I think once a month he does, because he's got a YouTube channel, and he goes like through, he picks out the best ones that he thinks, you know, and then he kind of like, you know, 
for like an hour on his YouTube channel. He'll like go through oh, wow. the, the wow. pictures and you know, and it, it's just kind of different. <laughs> yeah, I'll put a link yeah. on that. Yeah, thanks. Now, where is this one taken? I like the dark. That was like, I don't know, 200 feet this way of that other way. Oh, okay. okay. It's an Elephant Rock State Park in Missouri, like oh, south oh. of. Okay, Lewis. Was well, that a person? Yeah. Yes. And, and you know, a lot of people say, well, nature photography shouldn't have people in it. But in some cases Kinda like this, it. it gives you a perspective <laughs> of that, how big this stuff actually is. Because yeah. it could be a rock this big if you do it right. You know? yeah. Well, since we relaxed the rules on that, actually, sometimes, you're right, Bob, it gives it more of a story. Yeah. Because I had another one, but. It's well, this is an in pure nature category, anyways. Right. Yeah. But. You know, a lot of people still don't like to put people in their nature photography, but, but in cases so like this, this tells you exactly how big those rocks are. But if the guy was up front and bigger, then it wouldn't. No. It wouldn't be nature at all. But well, like this, is, I love it. What, what, what? Yeah, like my 14 year old went on uh, that, uh, the dark shadow spot. Um, like he couldn't walk through mm -hmm. under there. Well, he was about halfway up. Here? Yeah. You had to like crouch to get under there. Okay. Now that would really give some perspective. <laughs> that one was blurry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah well. Cropping. And that's the last of our pictures. Oh. I think that's the most fun. fun part of the whole meeting is discussing the photos. Yeah. I love, I I love that part. to do that yeah. with people in my house. They're just like, oh, boring. Joan again saying thanks for attending our Jackson Camera Club meeting in the month of May. Uh, for closing this meeting, thanking everyone for coming and anyone who's free to come to any meeting they want or join us on a photo walk.